Thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking us up this morning. We, we actually to pray for the people who didn't get to make the seat today, and we're praying for their families. We're praying for everybody in the jailhouse. We're praying for everybody in the hospital, and we're praying for all the homeless people out on the road, Lord, and it's cold, who's hungry, who ain't got nothing to eat. Lord, please provide that some way, somehow today for them. Because we don't know how long they've been without food. We don't know how long they've been without water. We don't know how, how long they've been without a shower. We love you. We thank you for everything you continue to do for us, Lord Jesus. Please guide us to and from all our destinations safely and also for everybody out in the world, Lord Jesus. Please put your hands over us, Lord Jesus, to make sure we all have a wonderful day, Lord Jesus. Even though it might not be possible, we love you. Thank you for everything. Please make sure these kids go to school and learn what they're supposed to learn. Listen to their teachers. Listen to the bus monitor and the bus driver, Lord Jesus. Please make them stop playing around when they go to school and learn their schoolwork. And it's not all about playing around with these kids. I love you. I thank you for everything you continue to do for us, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this is what I'm eating this morning, guys. This was my dinner last night. I literally ate three pieces and some fries, and I was good. I don't eat leftover fries, so I already threw away the leftover fries. Now I'm going to tear the, baby, the rest of this baby up. I don't think I'm going to eat all of it anyway, but... <clears throat> Thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking us up this morning. We're asking you to God... I mean, we're praying for the people who didn't get to see today, and we're praying for their families. We're praying for everybody in the jailhouse, the homeless shelters, and everybody in the hospital, Lord Jesus. We're also praying for our families near and far, everybody in the road also to be safe, Lord Jesus. Please guide us to and from all our destinations, Lord Jesus. We love you. Thank you for everything you continue to do for us, Lord Jesus. Please make sure the kids go to school, learn what they're supposed to learn, respect the bus monitors and their teachers, Lord Jesus. Thank you for... Everything you continue to do for us, Lord Jesus, we love you. Please make sure today be a wonderful and productive day, Lord Jesus. Please make us stay out of trouble with law enforcement, anything. If, you know, I don't know why I said that, but just, Lord, any way or form, please make us be safe. We love you. Thank you for everything you continue to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I know why I said law, for, <laughs> the law, because I was just watching videos with these police killing people. That's why I said that in my prayer. I don't know. Later, guys. Hey, guys. I'm in Polk County. I don't know, hold on. I don't know if y'all can see that outside. It's like a little slash gas station and restaurant. I don't eat out of here because I'm hungry and I want something to eat, but I'm not going to eat out of here. Waiting on um, a friend. Um, can't pick up a friend. I'm waiting on a friend. Um, yeah. So, in the dance hall scene, they, like, I love the Orlando dance hall scene. And what I say, I'm a part of the uh, dance hall scene, probably because that's what I do. I participate in everything in the dance hall scene. So, I want to make a video about it, but I don't know what people are going to say. But I've been going out partying since I was young. A like young, 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 young partying. Like, when I was 15 years old, I was going out partying. And not 15, 16 years old. I said 15. Still makes it bad, though. And it really doesn't make a difference. So I was partying like ever since I was 15 in the dance hall scene. 16, I'm, I keep saying 15. I was 16 in the dance hall scene. Been in the dance hall scene for a long time. And the people that was in the dance hall scene back then, you know. I, I'm going to say, you know. Look up to them or whatever it was. Um, to call a few names, Shaquina, her sister, Drea, it was the, um, then what they used to call, damn, I forgot their name, they, they used to have a group name, but those are the only people that, like, seriously, that I knew in the dance hall scene, I knew China K, but China K wasn't so big back then. Somebody just came and parked by side of me. Shana K wasn't so big back then. Um, but she was in the scene. Anna was always big. Black Rose was always big. Um, King Assassin was always big back then when I was younger. It was just a, um, 
just to name a few. I'm just going to say just to name a few. But the girls that like I used to look up to, those are the people. But as I was getting older, Platinum came around. Um, who else? Tiffany, Jeffrey Michaels. Um, just to name a few, like I keep saying. Now, I might have a car coming to my left now. Like in the dance hall scene or whatever it is, it was a party that's called Dons and Divas. Now, Shay, not Shay, um, Star Shay, Superstar Shay, not her, um, because we don't know who I watch, but she's a hairstylist. She came in the scene now, and Jeffrey Michael, another Jeffrey Michael's baby mama, I don't really know her name, Lizzie or whatever. They came in the scene, and I'm not going to lie. Just because you're not wearing a name brand designer, because everything is a name brand, but a designer outfit or whatever, doesn't mean you ain't fashionable than the person that's wearing the designer outfit. Now, just because it's a designer, it could look grandmash, it look ugly, or whatever. Trying to K you my girl or whatever. But come on. You wear designer clothes. Kudos to you. You don't know how everybody making their money. We don't know how you making your money or whatever it is. Now everybody's gonna be wearing these BBs, these um Michael Kors. I would never wear Michael Kors because Michael Kors don't like black people wearing his shit. I'm getting tired of these black people wearing Michael Kors shit and he don't want no black people wearing his shit. Oh, y'all always supporting these fucking people that does not support black fucking people and y'all always supporting their shit. Stop fucking supporting them and put some fucking money in somebody's hands that's supporting us. Sorry for all the cursing. Sorry. I have a filthy mouth if y'all don't already know that. So, yeah, just because you're wearing Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all these designer clothes to the club or whatever, baby, these designer people have nice ass motherfucking clothes. Stop wearing these grandma shit out. Stop wearing these grandma shit out. Your birthday, two years ago, I want to say, two years ago, trying to get your outfit was off the chin, nobody couldn't talk to you, nobody couldn't say nothing to you, these bitches was hating, you should have let them fucking hate, because baby, you, you put it down for them, and you should have never stopped dressing like that, dead ass serious, the, the time you had your titty out and ting, you should have let them fucking haters hate, because that's what they motherfucking do, don't become one, I'm not saying you are trying to cave me to care, if you know me, you don't know me, I love you. I love you, Tiffany. I like these y'all. You were you were the girls that literally when I was back then I was going clubbing when I wasn't supposed to be going clubbing. You were the people that I was looking up to. And now I still I'm not gonna say I don't look up to y'all because y'all fashion is nice, but y'all the people that people who be like, damn. To be honest, they're not gonna say it to y'all face, China K, um, Dre, Dre. You don't even go out like that no more. But um, to name a few now. Um, damn, Yannick something. Bird's bird, super bird ex-wife or wife. His baby mama or whatever it is. Yannick, whatever her name is. Um, her, her friend them, her little click them. But the girl, the lady who be chilling with her from, y'all don't even know who I'm talking about. But the certain stuff that's going on dance hall scene is just ridiculous. It's a community. It's a dance hall community. Put your heads together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this. I'm going to big up to everybody that I feel. And y'all don't, y'all hate, y'all don't like, whatever. I want to big up Flavor. Fever. Fever. I'm going to say Flavor. I want to big up Fever. Because Fever, he's the type of person, if I have any party, I want him to promote my party. Fever. Because he brings everybody out. He brings everybody out. And he used to be a dancer back then when I was going out partying. He used to be a dancer. But now he's a promoter and he's making his money. He's doing his fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Super punchy. Man, no super punchy from nowhere. Dead ass. I don't know super punchy from nowhere. Dead ass. But the amount of people that give him fucking respect, I like that shit. And I give him respect too. So big up yourself, super budgie. I think this guy's watching me. Because literally, he, he got in his car, he still didn't pull out yet. But certain shit like that, like us as small YouTubers also come together 
And we, some of us don't even do that. We watch, I'm not going to lie, I started watching big YouTubers, and after I start making my YouTube channel, it's like I have to watch my small YouTubers first before I watch my big YouTubers. And this is certain thing like that. We not, we're not helping each other out. We're just, if I'm speaking wrong, I'm speaking wrong, but I feel like we're not helping each other out. We should all come to, together. And it's just like in a dance hall scene, none of us are coming together. Like, literally, we all need to come together in a dance hall scene because the dance hall scene back in the days used to be off the chain. I don't even go out no more. I don't even like to step out no more because the way is wicked. The way the dance hall scene, wicked, wicked, wicked. Lady Imagery should have so much love at her fucking party. And the way these people treated this lady, this lady show up to everybody party. And I don't, I don't know her business, but I believe all these parties that she be doing their fires for, nobody not paying her. Every party that she do videos, not everybody's paying her. Show people respect. We all fucking need it. I'm going to show respect where it's needed. I'm not going to show respect because I just need a friend. I'm not that type of person. You'll never find that in me. So big up to everybody in the dance hall scene that's making a way for themselves. I wish, you know, I'm not going to say I wish I was there, but, you know, I, I'm not going to say I soon reached, but, you know, wherever God put me, that's where he put me. And I wish in a dance hall scene I was big or whatever, you know, I was promoting because that's what I have in my head. But right now, party's not there. Dan Orlando just fucked up and just all different fucking ways in the dance hall scene it's fucked up and it's not even orlando it's florida dance hall florida dance hall scene period my feel because mcguire de land is certain shit in the land mcguire avon park is certain shit in avon park it's just florida dance hall scene period sorry to say all of uno are corrupted we don't need to put on a head together and make something shit. They need to have a love and hip hop dance hall queen, just to be honest. To be honest, I should be on it because I just said it. <laughs> Let me stop. Like, but serious. I'm ranting a lot. I'll be back with you guys later because I seriously feel like this guy is watching me and I care. I don't know what I do. And I feel like I'm too close. So later. Now your girl is walking for something to eat because we reach and I want to say this Champions Gate and the car belt bus. He's trying to fix it, but I'm starving. I need to go get me something to eat. What a day. What a Thursday. I don't even see the McDonald's. I thought this was the McDonald's, but I don't even know where the fuck I'm at, to be honest. So yeah, I'm in the back streets walking. This is how the road looks. Mm. Y'all, I'm just walking and I don't even know where the hell I'm going. I'm trying to catch this mini RV, as they say it is behind us. I don't know if this is gonna even pass us. This one's wagon, or this RV. And I looked it up online. I want to wait until it passes. Yo, know, we had the 7 Eleven, and like every 10 to 5 minutes, they're throwing away trash. That's how much business it has going here. Look at it coming back. Many RV. They got all their bags and stuff Everything packed in the bag. Jeff, took your time. That's cool. I don't think I will be able to live, I mean, camping it though.